Greetings, and welcome to Baltimore City Public Schools. Congratulations, you have just completed New Teacher Summer Institute, and in the coming weeks, you will be in your schools and classrooms setting up for class. My name is Basson Saul, and I am a sophomore at Baltimore Polytechnic Institute. I am part of a team of students who have prepared the following video to show you how your students answer questions and giving their opinion on what makes a great teacher. Now sit back and relax and take notes on what students feel make a great teacher. Is my trade teacher, Mr. Evans, because I've known him for like all three years out of my out of the four years of my high school career. He encourages his students, he actually cares. He's not one of the few that's like, okay, I would give you this and y'all just work on it and I'll give you whatever grade. He's like, you really have to put time and dedication into it so it will come out right. My third grade teacher, Mr. Mueller. And he made it he made sure that we would learn in math by having fun at the same time. Miss Smith, the learning was very rigorous and I learned a lot. Mr. Marbury, we do something wrong, we need to just look back in our past and we also need to make sure that when we're doing math, we need to be successful. Dr. Patterson, every single day that I come to school, you know, I'm always seeing her like on the grind and she, she just don't do just one thing, she do multiple things. It teaches me a lot how to, you know, be persistent and to be, you know, on things. Ms. Garcia encouraged me, like, she's like real special for other teachers. This is Dr. Chris Schroeder. He was the geometry teacher at Bard High School Early College. He did more than just teach. He helped kids with their problems. He helped kids with their issues. He was kind of the backbone of, for the students when it came to emotional problems. He just was there for everyone for support. Mr. Nance, he was a cool teacher. He used to help us out, get through there. He said, Anytime someone tries to bring you down, we just think it is. Just keep pushing and don't listen to nothing they say. My family motivates me to give my very best in school. Ever since I was little, grades was like always a top priority. Like you can do almost anything you want as long as you have your education. LeBron James. He's been a role model for me since I was six. That I want to be a basketball player. They, I want to be like him. Many students don't have the opportunities that Baltimore City school students have, and sometimes we don't take the opportunities that are given to us, and I just wanted to be one of the students who did take the opportunity. Say my mother, I get in trouble. She always talks to me, and she don't like yell at me and blame me and stuff. Not just coming to school, but just knowing that, you know, school is probably like the hope source of, you know, of my success. I always want to learn no matter what it is and I always want to be great. I would say my teachers because um, when they teach if the material isn't exciting then you won't really want to learn but if it is you will. Mom and my dad because they're both educators. For me if I'm not interested um, my motivation fades away and it's really hard for me. When they come to the school and they're tired and sleepy and like they um, have problems at home, they still come to help us out. Dedicate themselves to their student, whether it's like one student or all of them. If you're not doing good in a certain class, my teacher will help me out. A teacher cares when she actually stays at the school with the students at coach class. You know, a teacher that is willing to work with you no matter, you know, what you're capable of, no matter what predicament you're in, no matter what you're going through. They pay attention to what you do. If they are passionate about their craft and if they put their all into trying to make sure one kid and not just one kid, but pretty much the entire class understands what they're trying to get through to. So when they help you and they, and they let you check over your work again, to see if you got it right or wrong. Teacher cares if they make effort to make sure the entire class is interested and that everybody's on track. One piece of advice that I would give to a new teacher is to relax. Be responsible at all times. Uh, life lessons. I would tell them that every day is a new day and that basically you have to Continue to work hard. Be you and care for each other. Not every scholar that they so teach 
are the same. Keep your head up. Don't let the students bring you down. Uh, just speak to them calmly. If they need to take a walk, let them take a walk, a five minute walk, or just send them down if they've been too disrespectful. To be nice to students and don't yell at them. To be patient with these children in Baltimore City Public Schools because not everyone is as fortunate and they kind of need that one person to listen to them. Even if they're not just teaching, you need someone to listen to your problems in order to help you out just to help you get through the motions because school can be very difficult. So patience and really trying to understand kids. Just do your best and help the students. That's all you need to know. This video has been made to help you see the views of many different students in Baltimore City Public Schools. And I hope you have a great upcoming school year. This has been Bass and Saw with the City School Student Media Team.